Hello everyone, my name is Harley and welcome to Trans by Deaf. Uh, this week's topic is coming out stories and tips. Um, so I'm going to try to get it all in this video. It's probably going to extend pretty long, so, but watch, you know. <laughs> um, so my coming out story, okay, I'm just going to try to quickly push the, the, for, uh, the flash forward here or, fla or flashback and then we'll come through um, so you know I you know knew around when I was four and then around eight I knew for sure that I was wanting to be a girl and I didn't know why so for a while up until my teenagers I started realizing that there is a process to do this and it's it's being transgender and why this was happening you know I started discovering that well my brain was developing female and because when your brain develops female it's meaning that you are having a gender identity of female and that the, and when it doesn't match your physical anatomy um, it causes dysphoria and and that's what it really comes down to like when when you start doing research you know cisgender people don't really see this as much because they don't truly know what it means to have a gender identity versus your sex that your physical sex that you came with so because it matches but when it doesn't match for my case or for some other people's case you notice it you're like god i have a gender identity of female and my f i'm born male what the fuck you know um so so you know you're you know there is medical terminologies for this so don't fret if you're feeling you're transgender there's a reason you know so <laughs> there is a reason you know so don't don't feel god why why did you do this to me la 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 it's a fucking reason it just happens okay it just happens you know it's it's part of life things happen not everyone's perfect um, so, you know, when people are like, oh, well, you know, you're made in God's image, you know, don't worry about that because that was talking about Genesis, <laughs> you know, so let's not go there, you know, anyways, um, so, so, all right, so, um, obviously we know that we're in a world that, you know, um, evolution could take over, um, you know, different things can happen, you know, developments can go differently, you know, and that's what happens. So, but I didn't know that at the time. So let's go, you know, back to the point of me being 24, can't take it anymore, really can't fucking take it, thinking about ending my life, um, because I just fucking can't believe why I'm like this, you know, and it's just bullshit. And that's my, you know, thing I was doing. So, I didn't even know if I was really transgender because what what test do you take to know if you're transgender? I mean, there's a lot of there's there are some tests online where they kind of measure oh are you you know female or male? But I you know really really you know th that's very gender stereotype. But there are some questions that they ask. How do you feel about your bottom down there or stuff like that? So sometimes you can get a hint and you can kind of see where you're at but you know to be honest you know if you're transgender or you have a hint that you're transgender you know so you kind of know so um the thing is i was fucking scared to come out so what did i do i self-medicated um i wanted to see because i was going to try for three months i wanted to see and the reason why three months the magic number three is because um when you do and when i did a lot of research for years I was reading that, you know, hormones can be reversed, the effects of hormones can be reversed in the first three months. So even if you're starting to develop breast tissue, it's like it can be reversed, you know, so because it's like the first three months. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. I want to know if I'm really transgender, right? So let me tell you, the answer I came out with was I didn't know if I was still transgender or not. but. The, the craziest thing was I felt right when I was doing it. When I was um, taking the hormones for three months, I was like, oh my gosh, um, I'm feeling better about myself. I'm liking it. 
I'm liking it, but three months is a short period of time to figure out who the fuck you are, you know, excuse my language, but really, it's a short period of time to figure that out, you know, and so I decided to continue taking it, even with the per with, with the permanent effects coming in, and that's when I started becoming reckless, and because I didn't care about that, I didn't care if I, you know, if my organs shut down, I didn't care if I died, I didn't care. And I can tell you, well, and I can give you a good example of what happened. I fucking overdosed on Spyro um, by very little and I had a toxic shock from it, which I sh probably should have went to the hospital because, I mean, I literally was, was not good. And I called up from work and all that stuff and um, so you know I should have went to the hospital I was being reckless and I just didn't want to because I was afraid to come out I was afraid you know and you know it was just like I was doing stupid things and then eventually I, once I got to that point I was like I gotta come out there's gotta be there's gotta be something so you know reading reading stories about people's stories you know with especially with gay people coming out it was like very it's very similar like oh my god am i is my am i am i going to get disowned by my family am i going to you know what's going to happen am i going to get thrown out of the house is, is society going to discriminate me now it's all the am i going to lose my friends you know it's all these little things that you're worried about when you're coming out so regardless if you're gay or transgender that is pretty much the same th feelings you're going to get. So we, because you're coming out to a world that isn't understanding of what it is to be in the LGBT. Um, it really, you know, like you can see some of these countries, you know, Russia, you know, it's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You know, <laughs> like, you know, it's like people are trying to be themselves. You know, they're trying to show you, hey, this is who we are. We can't change it. You know, it's <laughs> who we are. And so, you know, and, you know, you see all these places. It's like, what the heck? And, and, and it makes me feel like, oh, my God, I am just spoiled. I'm very spoiled because it's like I'm in America and I don't see as much of as what's going on in other countries, it could be worse, I know, but there is discrimination that happens here. It happens everywhere. And, you know, it's all political too, because then you get political things with California coming in like, do we really need a bathroom for restrooms for our peop our tr young transgenders? Do they need to really look go into the locker rooms? That's like, why is this an issue? You know, it's like, you know, it's, why? Why is it such an issue? And so, you know, all these things you get frightened about to be coming out. So, you know, eventually my mom came in and says, sit down. And I was like, oh, no. And, and I was like, and I was trying to go through all the scenarios possible because it's good. Like, if I get thrown out, am I able to go on my own? You know, am I, you know, things like that, you know. And so you got to really prepare yourself before you come out. And so luckily I was preparing because I knew it was going to happen because my mom kept noticing and I was like, oh no. And she's like, tell me what's going on. She was like, tell me now. And I was like, I tell her, I broke down. I broke down so bad and I told her, I came out and I told her, I was like, oh no, I'm so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know, I try to be a... I'm trying to identify as a guy and you know it's like it's not working and she's like I want you to be happy and as soon as I heard that from her like I want you to be happy I love you for whatever you know no matter what I want you to be happy she's like and I was like right then I knew wow my mom is a really good parent and I was just like impressed I was like you know, and I cried more, and, and then she's like, and then after we're done, she's like, but I have to tell your father, and I was like, oh, no, don't, don't, you know, and I was getting worried about that again, and I was like, oh, no, and, and it was like, I said, give me a few days, give me a few days, and the next morning, after, when I'm washing the car, you know, getting the dew off, my dad comes in, he's like, your mother told me, and I was like, 
with the water coming out. I was just like speechless, breathless. You know, I was like, what? You know, and he's like, don't worry. I'm not going to throw you out. You know, don't worry about that. We're going to talk, though. We are going to talk, but don't worry. You know, we will talk tonight. So we talked. We talked it out, and, you know, it, it took... It, it takes a long time for them to understand, for my parents to understand what's really going on because, you know, they, they want to know what they want to see if they can help you. And that's, that's the thing, you know, but the thing that you can, like, if you're a parent listening, the thing you got to do is just listen, listen to what, you know, your child is saying. And, and obviously I've, did my research and I know what is going on with me. Um, you know, I don't really need a doctor to tell me that, you know, but you're, actually you shouldn't have a doctor tell you that, to be honest with you. If you go to a therapist and they tell you, yeah, you're transgender, it's like, no, that's wrong. You don't, that's not how it works, you know, because you know who you are. You can't have someone tell you who you are, okay? That's for, that's, a, that's pretty much a fact, really. You can't have someone tell you who you are because then you'll start believing that's who you are, you know, so, you know, keep that in mind, you know, but so, you know, then they were like, well, what's the next step? And I was like, I have to see a therapist. I have to get off the self-medication because it's dangerous. I mean, I felt like it was really dangerous. I mean, I OD'd, you know, I felt like, oh my God, my organs can shut down. You know, I don't know what's going on. I need to get to the doctor. And so, you know, I went to the therapist and, you know, apparently some doctors have to have a letter from your therapist saying that it's okay to treat this individual for, you know, hormone replacement therapy. So I'm not sure how doctors handle whether or not when you're um, going in and saying, hey, I'm taking hormones, help me, you know, I, I don't know how they handle that, they might not even, they might turn you away, so, um, I'm not sure, you know, but the thing is, you know, I'm, I'm going to kind of end it here and just go into it quickly with tips, the thing is, you have to be prepared, you have to be prepared for all cases, and that's the only way you're going to be, you're going to get to come out. Um, but the thing is, it's always going to be scary. Scary. You're gonna you're gonna be scared, but you have to come out because because you can't like I mean some people can hold it in for so long, and I probably could have hold held it into my grave. I probably would have took it to my grave. I I remember saying that so many times. I'm gonna take this to my grave. I'm gonna take it to my grave. And the thing is, there's two battles that you battle with. You battle with either your inside, your internal feelings going to bed, crying yourself to sleep because you want to be a different gender and you want to do things that you always want to do. You're tired of pretending to be, you know, this, you know, you're tired of pretending, like for me, I was tired of being, pretending to be a guy. So you can either can deal with that every fucking day or you can just come out suffer whatever consequences there are, whether it's good or bad, and finally release it. And then you're just dealing with the externals. I mean, it's a trade-off. You're either gonna deal with the externals or you're gonna deal with your internals. So it's whatever you want to do, but coming out feels so fucking good. Um, you know, obviously you're gonna probably have people staring. You're probably gonna have people discriminating you. Um, on the outside, you're gonna have conservatives telling you you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're going to hell, you're going to hell, la 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 la. You know, you're gonna always have that, but you know, after a while, you start laughing because it's the same shit. <laughs> you know, you're like, ah, you know, <laughs> and so after a while, you just get used to it. You get used to like, you know, you know. The thing is, one of the craziest things is you tend to pay more attention to other people paying attention to you when you're coming out and that's a scary thing you, you start realizing like oh my god why am I paying attention to what this person thinks you know um don't worry about that you know you, you really shouldn't you just be yourself you know 
just, you know, it, it's a tough world. It is. It is. It's very tough. But coming out is probably the biggest step someone can ever make. And, you know, hopefully you're, you know, you're going to have, I mean, there's other people that came out. There's other, you know, LGBT community. If you're afraid to be rejected, you're going to be in the LGBT community. You're going to be with people that been there, done that. They know how you feel. They're going to accept you. You know, it's, it's, um, so therefore you have another group of friends that you can go to another family you can go to if you want, you know, it's there. You just got to see it, you know, and, um, it's really that, you know, so, I mean, you know, just be prepared and, you know, it's scary. You're never always going to be a hundred percent ready, but it's scary. Um, so I'm going to end it with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for the next.